Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly, and I'll be doing the read here. Kind of cut back on the cards because um, it takes me a really long time to, to edit these, but um, um, it's all good. It's all good. It's still a pretty good read. It's a little bit different, <clears throat> though, but it's not bad. And the first... Uh, rune that we got here, Pisces, is, is Jera. And as you can see, it's kind of balancing. It kind of looks like it's balanced. And so um, this is also, um, this is also uh, like success, success. Okay, this is success from hard work. And it's kind of like a surprise usually. It's kind of like, not a shock, but kind of a surprise. All right, and um, it's tied in over here with Nathis. And now Nathis is a is a rune that talks about a lacking of. <clears throat> so it can also uh, indicate learning too. But so for some, you know, this could be uh, learning something that really surprises you. You know, it could be something like that. But uh, what I'm thinking is, this is like more of a lacking of something. Um, and this is, this, this is overcoming this lackingness because this is success. So if you're lacking something, you're gonna overcome it, all right? This is success. And it's going to, uh, See, what, what, whatever it is here that you're lacking, Pisces, it's kind of like an obstacle for this new beginning to start. Um, because you have Bur um, Burkana. I almost, I almost said it the other way. <laughs> you have Burkana right here, and this is... Uh, it, it's positive as it is, even when it's uh, in reverse, but it usually indicates some sort of a, you know, obstacle. And, you know, a lacking of money or something like that could be a, could be a major obstacle for you, for sure, Pisces. Okay. Um, and then I see Isa, and this kind of like, uh, you know, Isa uh, is, it represents ice, but it also uh, very much reminds me of the Nine of Wands. Um, just like this Nine of Wands, you know, this is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands talks about, you know, not to give up. Don't give up. You're almost there. Uh-huh. Keep going. Um, yeah. And also, Isa, since it does mean ice, it can also indicate slow energy something that's taken a long time for sure and then we have el has here and this is a uh, protection this is capricorn energy el has this is a uh, protection so you are protected pisces so um <clears throat> you know the advice is you know you're protected uh, the only thing i always say and i say it a lot is to use your intuition because it'll serve you really well. It always does. Okay. So the next rune, which is also the rune here, uh, the middle of the reed, this is uh, Awas. And um, now Awas is the is the death rune. All right. So what what we're talking about here with Awas is that you know something is over and something new is beginning all right and you know i see i see anzus here so you know anzus is uh, somebody that either lied to you or told you something that isn't really true so you could be dealing with that somebody might have lied to you but uh, you know Yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that maybe somebody lied too, but you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have 
just use your intuition. You know, you will know if somebody is li is lying to you or if somebody has lied to you. All right. Either that or somebody has been holding something from you. And I have a feeling that could be as well. All right. Now we see the uh, the blank rune. This is some sort of a decision. All right. Some sort of a decision usually is what the blank rune talks about. Um, you know, and it's also, you know, talking about how nothing is really yet set in stone because it's blank. So, um, yeah, this is going to be some sort of a decision, but, you know, it's right next to Gabo and Gabo is, uh, gifts and blessings. All right. So this looks like a really good read. It looks like a major, you know, and I, I keep saying again, we didn't get digas in this particular read, uh, but we did, you know, get awas, which is the death rune. And it, it's like the, you know, the death is a new beginning, right? So something new is starting up, all right? Now, when I pulled the tarot out, I pulled out the king of swords, okay? And so... I don't really think this is you, Pisces. This is somebody else coming to you, all right? Um, but, you know, I notice here in this particular card, it's got Kanaz in reverse right there. So this person here feels, um, this could actually be you too, Pisces. You know, this could be your energy as well here too, uh, because you have Kanaz right here, uh, next to uh, Burkana. Now, Burkana in the upright is very, very positive. It could be somebody that uh, that feels left in the dark about starting something new. Uh-huh. Or it could be somebody approaching you that feels kind of left in the dark or out in the cold that wants to approach you with something. All right? It could be something like that, too, as well. Now, um... The next card I got here is uh, the Nine of Wands, all right? So the nine, the nine of Wands is, you know, the Wounded Warrior. This particular card is a trip. You know, he looks like he's got all of his wands right here, but I see an awful lot of, uh, of uh, runes on here as well. Um... Yeah, I see Isa, I see, uh, I see uh, Soilo, yeah, that looks like Soilo, uh-huh, and then I see Laguz. So, um, yeah, you have the sun, and you go with the flow, all right, and uh, just go slow, okay, because I see Isa here, so go slow, go with the flow, but don't give up. All right, don't give up because I do see sun. I see the sun there. All right, and then I clarified that with the emperor. Now, the emperor is somebody who takes control. All right, so you're going to take care, you're going to take control of the situation here, Pisces. And you know, you got the emperor. So this is somebody, this is Aries energy. This is somebody that. Uh, you could be either around an Aries or this is your energy here taking control. Taking control of the situation. Take grabbing the grabbing the horn by the bulls. Or <laughs> grabbing the bull by the horns. Gosh, I'm kinda like backwards. <laughs> so yeah, but this is what the Emperor does. I mean he grabs the he grabs those horns on the bull and and uh, you know, takes takes control of the situation. All right. So that's kind of good to have that backing up the Nine of Wands for sure. Now the next move, uh, card I got here, uh, <clears throat> Pisces, is the Moon, and uh, you know the Moon is something of you know something that you're in the dark about, you know, and like I said, um, that's why I kind of saw, you know, Solo here. Uh, I mean not Solo. Um, Kanaz here in reverse, okay? 
So this is somebody feeling uh, left in the dark uh, or left out in the cold. And this is also feeling left, you know, in the dark for sure. Something that you don't know, all right? Something you don't know. You've got two uh, runes on this particular card. You've got um, El has in the upright, which is definitely you're protected, okay? You're definitely protected. See, look, you have it here too. So you're definitely protected. You have Othala right here. Now, this could be something to do with your family, okay? Something to do with your family because I keep seeing Othala on the moon, all right? So, yeah, because Othala it speaks of the family. Mm -hmm, it does. So now when I uh, clarified the moon, I got um, the two of wands, okay? And so, you know, you're unsure of what, what your future holds. You're, you're just really kind of unsure what your future holds. You may be unsure what your future holds um, with a family member. Because I see Othala right here. Yeah. And I also see uh, Rido right here, which is, you know, some sort of travel. All right. So some of you may be uh, planning some sort of travel. Um, something, something to do with that. And then you have, and this is really kind of odd. This is Anzus on the upright, but it's, it's kind of backwards. You know what I mean? So you, you're really kind of unsure. That's for sure. This is kind of like confusion. All right. You're, you're definitely confused about something and you're unsure about something because I feel that something has been held from you, Pisces. I see um, Anzus right here. So, somebody lied to you or something, right? But now when I clarified the moon and we got the, uh, the Queen of Pentacles, all right? So this is, this is really good. This is uh, Capricorn energy um, as well as we have the El has here. But this is... Um, you know, this is a really good energy, okay? So what you don't see is it's, it's coming in in abundance for you, Pisces, all right? You have uh, Kanaz on here, which is uh, in the upright position, which is victory and success. And then right next to it, you have um, Elhas, which is protection. So you're not only protected, but you're going to you're going to have some sort of a victory, all right? And you're going to have some sort of a victory, uh, mainly. Um, you'll see this is the blank rune now, but mainly because you know the emperor energy is grabbing the horn. I mean, grabbing the horns on the bull, you know, <laughs> and just you know taking control of it, all right? Now, also, you know, this uh, King of Swords kind of um, kind of reminds me of something legal, too. So maybe some of you are having something uh, legal going on as well. I kind of just kind of got that vibe there. All right. So anyway, let's uh, <clears throat> let's get you uh, one of these uh, warm runes here. What's going on here with Pisces? Hope you guys are having a good day, afternoon, or whenever you're watching me. Ooh, that's interesting. What one is that? Okay. I think we've pulled this one here before, Pisces, but... <clears throat> you know, there's another one that looks like this, but it sticks the other way. So, it's kind of cool. Yeah, we've told this one here before. <laughs> so the name of this rune here is Hua, right? Hua. And this is a hawthorn tree. And this is the, the message it has here. Hawthorn brings challenge in both positive and difficult ways. He can foretell a streak of bad luck or a disruption of routine. He invites us to take stock of our lives, explore the truth in our hearts, and realize what no longer and release 
what no longer serves us. Hawthorne asks us to set boundaries and to respect the boundaries of others. He can also indicate purity and marriage. Hawthorne reminds us to honor and protect that which is sacred. And it's talking about here also marriage. You know, uh, Jera here is also the marriage rune too. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Well, there you have it, Pisces. I guess I'll pull one of these uh, regular uh, Moonology manifestation cards out here. New Moon in Pisces, attuned to the divine. Attuned to the divine, Pisces. All right. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again next time. All right, bye for now, Pisces.